So the three main reasons why your Amazon Fire Stick keeps on telling you that you're running low on internal storage is number one, these Amazon application updates. Here we can see that the IMDB TV application is nearly 100 meg in size. And if I click on it, there's no way for me to remove it. In other parts of the world, they're pushing out other applications like Amazon Free Time, like the Stars application. So all of these things are being pushed onto our device, whether we want to use them or not. The next one is application cache. So all of these apps on my device have an app cache. And the more you use the application, the more that cache builds up. And over time, some of these can actually grow up to be a couple of hundred meg in size. So we really need a process to keep that in check. And the last one is residual files. So if you're installing lots of applications from people's file linked or from downloader or from people's websites, and these installation files really can take up a lot of space. So what we need is a single application that can uninstall all of these Amazon application updates. It can also show us all of the different app caches so we can see exactly where the big hitters are. And lastly, it can take care of all of those residual installation files. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Please do hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So before I start any kind of housekeeping or cleaning on my device, we can see that I have 716 megs of free space. So let's press the home key. Now the application I like to use for all of my file manipulation on my Fire Stick or really any Android device is typically Mi Explorer. However, one of my followers, a guy called Razor1983, he told me about a feature inside this application. Now, I don't normally use this application because it has had some negative press in the past. However, I've managed to find a custom version of this application, which doesn't have any adverts, and some of those tracking features have been disabled. So how do we install this custom version onto our device? Well, the first thing you need to do is go over to your settings, MyFi TV, and just ensure that you have developer options and just ensure you have this option on. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key and we're now going to use Downloader to make a connection to my website. So let's open that up. And as we know, the address for my website is just bit.ly forward slash tduk. That's me and the numbers 2019. Let's type that in and click on go or press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my website, you wanna head over to the hamburger menu and then click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can use that custom version of ES File Explorer to uninstall those Amazon system updates. So let's open that up now. And here it is, let's scroll down and link for the application. So let's click on that, scroll down and click on the green download button. And that will then download the application directly onto your device. And that's now all done. So let's press the home key. Let's open that up. So this is the custom mod -like version of this application. So when you start it for the first time, let's click on agree. Let's click on allow. Now here for this permission, we can click on deny because there's no need for that permission for this application. So let's click on deny and deny again. Let's click on agree. And here we are inside this application. Okay, so the first thing I recommend you doing is going down into onto cleaner. Let's click on that. And this will now find all of those obsolete application installation files, which are still on your system, which are just not needed anymore. So I can now click on clean now. And I should be able to reclaim 114 megs of space. So let's click on clean now. Okay, so I should now have that space back. Let's press the back button. Okay, so the key one is those system application updates. So for that, let's go over to applications. And this will now show you all of those applications installed on your device. And you can even see the system applications which have those Amazon updates. So a great example is IMDB TV. Let's click on that. And we can see we get the option to uninstall it. And as we saw, this application is currently taking 100 meg on my device. But when I click on uninstall, so do you want to replace this with the factory version? Let's click on OK. 
And what the factory version means is, is before the application received any updates, we can see that's now gone. Let's press the home key. Let's just confirm that. Let's go to applications, manage install applications. And there we can see guys, that application was taking up 100 megs of space before, and it's now only taking up eight kilobytes. So do give a thumbs up for that. And that's just one application guys. So if we go back to home, let's open this up. Okay, so for example, I know that I don't use um, the Amazon news. I can click on that. Also click on uninstall, click on okay. And that again removes any updates that the application has had. Let's keep going down. Now I use Prime Video on my device, so I don't want to clear that, but in your house, if you're not using Prime Video, you can also click on that and select the option to uninstall. And that will again remove any updates that the application has had. But in my example, I'm going to click on cancel. Let's find more Amazon stuff that I don't use. Okay, so I don't use Amazon Music. Let's click on that and click on uninstall. Click on OK. Those updates have now been removed. Let's keep going down. And lastly, I don't use Amazon Free Time on my device. I can click on uninstall. And that should also remove any updates that the application has had. So now on your device, you may have more applications that have been pushed from Amazon. And if you're not using them, just uninstall those updates. Okay, so let's press the home key. So we had about 700 and something mega free space. So in a couple of seconds, what do we have now? And we now have over one gigs of free space. Let's press the home key. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. And lastly, how do we identify the applications that have the largest app cache? Well, the easiest way to do that is if you click on app, this again shows you all your applications. Now you just scroll to the bottom. And what you're looking for here on the bottom right where it says more, I can now click on file analyzer. Let's click on that. And this will now scan all of the applications installed on your device and then give you a breakdown on whichever has the largest cache. Let's scroll down. And here we can see the app cache list. Let's click on that. And there we are, we get to see a nice breakdown of which applications on my device are taking up the most space. So we can see the first one is taking up 36 meg, next one five meg and so on and so forth. So on your device, especially if you are using lots of applications, you may find some of these are actually a couple of hundred meg in size. So once you find the big hitters, just click on this icon on the top right and click on that. And this will then take you straight to the section where we can now clear the app cache. So one click and that's now all cleared. So let's press the back button. If I'm clear this one over here, click on that again and click on clear cache. Let's press back. Let's press the home key, go to settings and let's just see exactly how much space we have left now on our device. And we can see we now have 1.07 gigs of free space. Now, a key thing to mention here though is those Amazon application updates have now been uninstalled. But as we know, Amazon are always trying to push those updates out. And the only fix we have for that is what I demonstrated yesterday is by blocking those Amazon updates. So if you didn't see that process, I will leave a link in the video description. Now, let's say you don't do that change on your device. What's going to happen when I click on check for updates? What do you think is going to happen? And of course, guys, it's just going to start downloading all of those application updates again. So definitely, if you don't want this to happen, make sure you do watch yesterday's video and block Amazon doing these updates directly onto your device. So. That's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do recommend that you follow the process in this video just to make sure that you are managing the storage of your Fire Stick, just to make sure that it runs as smooth as possible. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.